Hey guys, welcome back to Physician Well. Thank you all for your support. Today we're going to do something that I've been needing to do for a very long time, and that is clean my best friend, my Dyson. So I have the Dyson B15, yes, Detect. And one of the things that I noticed on YouTube is that Dyson does not provide any step-by-step -step videos of how to clean the product. And even if they do, the products that they are using are pretty much already clean. So we are going to clean it. And the very first thing that I would suggest you do is maybe take a trash bag like I have here so that you can easily clean up any debris and or dust. I do have a hard bristle brush. And honestly, mine needs a bath so much that I am going to be using soap and water. You do that at your very own discretion, but I want mine to be super clean. So that is what I'm going to do. All right, so first I'm going to take one of the attachments that you see here that has the brush. This is not as dirty and there's a reason because I don't use this attachment as frequently as I use the other one. And if you look here, <laughs> a little embarrassing. My other detach. <laughs> it's not so clean um, right so this is the anti-angle comb which is really good for ensuring that you know hair or any other fibers will not get all caught up in here but I despise this right here um, true story also for those of you if you have had the chance or may have not had the chance to look at my video where I discuss whether you should wear shoes in your home or not. I'm gonna go ahead and link that in the description box because you may wanna start there. We are a shoe-free home and we've been in this house for about a year and a half. Even with that, it's a new build home. I purchased this vacuum as soon as we moved in. So it has only vacuumed this house, vacuumed this house. And also, we really don't have a lot of people that, that live in here, but this is the result. So think about that as well. But first thing you want to do is go to the side that has the grate on it. So we're just going to unsnap that. I had to reteach myself. So you see that little part here, just bend it down and then you'll be able to take it out. like so and then that leaves this area here mine is pretty clean as you can see we have here maybe um, some hair that needs to come out you need to wear gloves wear gloves but this is my dirt so I don't really care um, but you can you can even take I forgot to say you will need a microfiber type towel um, if I did not say that but you'll take this as well and then just clean any of the knobs and gears again this one is pretty much clean so I'm not gonna run it through any water but take this off and if you can see here there's a little bit of hair that I'm gonna take out leave that there And you want to make sure you don't have anything on these sides as well and then this just gets ran under the water which i'll show you uh, momentarily but it gets ran under the water and this is where i am going to use um, i'm going to use some clean boss which is soft um, and kind of scrub this a little bit and then make sure I rinse it completely and then it will stand up like so for 24 hours and dry. All right, so next we're gonna tackle this one here and this is gonna be a little bit different. So there is a horizontal groove right here and what you wanna do is just find some type of corn of sorts. I have a nipple that I'm using and you're just going to put it inside here 
and turn it like so. And then we'll pull out like so. And the entire anti-tangle comb comes loose. I don't see anything down there, but it exposes In my case, a lot of dirt. So, what I am gonna to choose to do is try to dry brush it first, which I don't think is gonna do a lot. And the biggest challenge with this is you choose not to put any water on it. Um, is that it's not going to come completely clean. And then if you just put water, it'll probably turn to mud. So you gotta think about that as well. But what I am trying to show you in this video is that if you use Dyson's instructions for a vacuum, that is already dirty. Like so. Then I just don't know how clean it's gonna get. But you use your judgment, it's your vacuum, you pay for it, and these are not cheap, so. And the interesting thing, if you've ever seen one of Dyson videos, they don't talk through them. <laughs> so while we can try to assume what they're doing, it would be much more helpful if they talked. I don't particularly like that this is not an option to come out because I can't get into this area well. Which is why I opt to clean it with the water, as y'all are gonna see in a little bit. So if you can look, even though I've brushed some things away, if I just angle it, you'll see that all in here still has a lot of dirt, which is the part that I can't get. If you look on the side, <laughs> there's a little see-through moment, but much of this is still clouded, which is what I don't like. So that is the reason for needing to give it a bath. And it's my best friend. Best friend gonna get a bath today. Best, best friend has deserved and worked hard for this bath. All right, so to the sink best. So I suggest that you all dry brush first if you're gonna use my method and then get everything prepared for a bath and put it into the sink and then wash everything off at once. I think it'll just make things much easier, okay? Second thing is we're gonna look at our filter. All you do is simply turn the filter and voila. Now, <laughs> this filter is atrocious, right? Um, I should have cleaned it a long time ago. But here's the thing, I'm not gonna clean my filter. You can clean this by simply running water through it and allowing it to stand up like so and dry for 24 hours. I believe that at some point you should replace things. I mean, like the dust particles are literally. Okay. No need to clean it. That is the point. I purchased them. Purchased them on Amazon. Um, and just go ahead and put in brand new ones. Why not? They're not that, I think they were like 20 some dollars. I'll, I'll, um, look at that when I'm editing and see if I can go ahead and include that because Y'all, it's not that big of a deal. Give your best friend some new filters. And that's what I'm gonna do. So these, this is gonna go in the trash. 
and then we're going to and if you look there's really nothing on this side but i am going to just wipe it clean and if you all want to go ahead and put some water on your cloth you can but i don't think this area needs it and then we're going to dispose by pulling the red trigger the rest of the dirt here as you can see i have some this just hanging on out there it's just hanging out so what you do is flip your baby over and let's see if i can do this which i probably can't hold on i, I did it <laughs> you just push the red button and then it completely falls off all right which exposes this right so we're going to do the same thing we're going to dry clean and you'll be surprised just how much happens just from dry cleaning it at least this area right and i find it more comfortable when you're doing this to hold the bottom and then wipe around and i want y'all to know too the one of the reasons why in some of these areas I'm kind of stumbling just like that red button is because I've probably only pushed that red button probably once since I've had it I've not needed to do so but I also didn't want to look all well prepared because I want you all to see me fumble through it and still know that it can be done um, so that you feel comfortable when you go to clean your machine Not an expert but you don't have to be an expert okay so that comes pretty clean as a whistle and then you just want to look in here and see if anything's caught up which is not and I will clean inside there like so this is just your battery. You don't have to worry about that. And then you're done with that. I'm gonna set it off to the side. Now this is your canister, which the canister gets pretty grimy. As you all can see, there's build up dirt in here and all around. So I, I I would probably only try to dry brush this right here so that there's not a, a lot of dirt and grime in my sink. But I want this to be disinfected. Just keep, keep in mind, this houses allergens, dust, mold, all of that good stuff. Y'all see this stuff? I don't know if you can see it flying around, honey, but it's a lot going on over here. And the thing is, I really need to vacuum around to be able to clean up all of this. They keep me and my allergies are tight. So yeah, you're, you're not gonna get a lot of that. So this will go into the sink for cleaning. And then the only thing that's remaining is our long stick. And honestly, there's barely like anything in here. If I look down it, I can see um, something that needs to be pulled right here. But I am going to run some water through it, as you'll see momentarily. All right, so we've taken the vacuum apart. And what you're gonna watch me do Take my coin out. Put this in here as well because we're throwing that away. And take this off to your trash can, and then we'll meet back up at the sink. All right, so we are back, and I already have our first victim. I'm taking some clean boss with 
and I'm just pouring it. Why? Because it, it broke on me. But I hope it didn't think I wasn't going to use it all because it broke because that is not how I get down. Dirt, dirt, dirt. I don't know if y'all can see that, but it is dirty. Which means I'm going in and put some more clean water. Because I need to twerking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, good. And you see, this back and forth motion seems to work. And then just rinse it out. And it's actually coming out. Pretty dirty. And I am using, honestly, hot water. You probably tell on my hands, but I'm doing that because I want it to one get all of the dirt out and the cleaner out. But two, I want it to clean as if it was shampooing this. And you really want to make sure that you wring it out as much as possible to get all the water off. To get all the water off. Like so. Then we're gonna take the anti-tangle comb and do the same thing. And get it dirty as well. See the debris coming into the thing. So we're gonna just get a little bit of comb off here as well. And then next is the canister, which is pretty dirty. We'll start right here. We'll just rinse in it first. can see the biggest grime is like right up in here. I'm going to spray this out first. Give yourself a nice bath. Feed some fabric down there to get that clean. And then we're done. So I don't know if you all can see, but we have quite a bit of debris in the sink. And now we're gonna dry. So I have a brand new microfiber cloth here. 
And if you don't have any of these, Amazon, like everybody else, sells them. I'll link them as well. You can get a group of them for a very inexpensive price. So what you're going to do now is just dry off all of your items. So Careful with it. Try to take most of the moisture out of these items. Just let them stand like so. You can close this bag and let it dry. I'm actually going to let it dry open. I just want to ensure that there's enough air to get everything. And then we'll put this in. to dry and voila all right guys so these are going to dry for 24 hours and then we'll come back and put the entire vacuum back together and it will be ready to use i hope this video was helpful please don't forget to subscribe and then go ahead and hit that playlist which is i believe the cleaning playlist which is right up your alley until next time bye